We'll see how this version of Blood Money is. I don't have high expectations, but... Eh. Give it a go. I had this just briefly, but... Briefly. <laughs> Magical aura detection. I believe they did, but my understanding is that it doesn't work through walls, which makes it completely useless. <laughs> Hella plus R to start. All right. Skip profile venture. Hey, that's a that's a feature that I kind of like. Do I dare click this? <laughs> nice. QR code. <laughs> Gameplay. Okay. Simplify Strangle is on by default, and Simplify Strangle is one of the dumbest mechanics in this game, and you should always turn it off immediately. I'm not gonna turn it off immediately, because when I tested this out quickly, I I saw that the Simplify Strangle did something funky as hell. Instinct mode. Minimap. Yeah, that's some hot new features. Standard difficulty stuff. We'll play on Expert, because I want to save. Full investigation of the park's safety I'm not sure what I'm expecting from the cutscenes. I can say that the subtitles look different. <laughs> but beyond that, it's the same stuff. And I have a feeling that this is probably based on the uh, HD console versions. Just by looking at this loading screen. <laughs> this training mission will equip you, equip you with all skills you need for the assignment ahead. To refer back to this role, mention press plus. Minimap, health and tension. Oh wow, the health and tension meters look quite different. Top of the screen offers suggestions on what to do next. Yeah, very useful if it's only during the training mission. Alright, let's try out the controls. Even if there was no other visual indication that this is running at 30 FPS, I could easily tell that this is 30 FPS just by how slowly the items move around in the inventory. <laughs> Let's uh, equ equip the fiber wire. <laughs> it, it's so wrong! Simplify strangle. Maybe turn it off. No, I, I honestly don't know how you're supposed to use Simplify Strangle. Because Simplify Strangle automatically makes you crouch. Yeah! Oh, well, th that has to be broken, actually. Because if I crouch first and then strangle, it looks normal. But if I uncrouch, Simplify Strangle just completely breaks. Wow, that is that is obviously broken. I'm gonna keep it on because it looks stupid. Locate the owner and take him out. The target is a Joseph. Oh, Clarence, the picture in picture is swing different. An accident involving one of the yeah. park a few years. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? <laughs> Trespassing. I'm I'm curious to see how that's gonna work in the rest of the game. I will say this is better than in the original because in the original the, the text was at the bottom, and this is just a better layout. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa that's highlights. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Also, the tutorials are still garbage. They just this distract the guards, but it doesn't doesn't tell you anything about the coin. How do you throw? Oh, hang. Oh, they changed the throw mechanic. This is a zoom in mode. That's throw. Wait, what? You don't. Tr how do you throw? It's like I'm playing Blood Money for the first time. I've seen everybody struggle with this. How the fuck do you throw? Oh. What the fuck was that? Using the fiber wire. Uh, and this sort of tutorial wasn't in the original. 
But honestly, probably an improvement because Blood Money's tutorial is one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Wait, 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 wait! Hang on a second! Illegal item! That's not true! There's nothing illegal about it unless you are specifically seeing do this. How do I drop? That's one way to drop. Help. What? Help. Help me. Down on the D-pad to drop the body. It is zoom out. Yeah, they, they've completely changed the uh, throw and drop mechanic. Which I guess it's good compared to the original consoles because the controls in those were atrocious. They had shit like hold down the right stick to throw. Which is absolute insanity. Also, it didn't at all explain how to jump. Which I don't think is all that intuitive in Blood Money, because you have to first get close to the thing that you want to jump, and then you have to press forward on the stick to actually do the jump. And yeah, Instinct just doesn't work through walls, so it's really, really quite useless. Yeah. It doesn't even highlight the, the jumpable objects. It's odd. Also, wait, I gotta check something out. Well, I meant to drop that. And this is new. Oh, they can't open the door. Oh, yes, they can. There we go. Yeah, I had to come down here because... It claims that these are interactable. I mean, sure, technically they are. This is such a... What year? 2010? Thing to add. Hell an auto aim. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, I don't mind <laughs> full on aim bot in blood money or hit money in general. What? Hey. How did you get in here? Yo, hold on. How do I melee? <laughs> Help! Intruder! Legit, how do I melee? <laughs> melee is why. Oh, there we go. But yeah, how did this guy get in? I, I, again, I I feel like I'm just losing my mind over here. But in in Blood Money, the original, don't you always have the prompts available to you? Because in here it seems to be at least somewhat camera sensitive, whether you get a prompt or not. I don't think Blood Money did that. I think Blood Money just gave you the prompt if you were close enough to the object. Disguise effectiveness and tension. If you notice the tension be rising, consider moving out of sight of guards and reconsider your approach. For example, do you have suspicious items equipped? Are you trespassing? High tension puts guards on alert and makes the disguise ineffective. So remember to act the part. I mean, I, 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 I get it, but it's also not quite true. Do we have any other illegal items besides the obvious fiber wire, which is not an illegal item? Gotta check you, white bread. All right, you cool. Shit, what the fuck? Now I'm curious because I'm just now noticing that below the minimap there is that icon, the ban icon. Which apparently lights up when I'm in a trespassing zone. And I wonder if that actually works. As in works consistently, because... 
that's not a thing in the original and that seems like an actual complicated thing to work with or to work into the game I don't want to die man don't kill me you know important test oh I can't put away the gun Nice auto aim. <laughs> oh god. Sniping on a controller. I don't remember if there's so much swaying in the original. Then again, I guess... I guess if I... Used to sniper in the original, I typically try to crouch to make it a bit more stable. Oh. What's this fire extinguisher always here? Oh god! If I don't have the fire extinguisher. Melee is Y, but if I do have the fire extinguisher, melee is right trigger. I don't understand. Yeah, but like, My can I do non-lethal or Please, unarmed melee while carrying a melee Clarence. weapon? Oh. Like, if, if I now press Y, what happens? I suffered enough? Oh, nothing happens. Think I know how much suffering I'm responsible for? So, can, can somebody clarify? Am I going insane again, or... Was that fire extinguisher there in the original? I feel like this game is gaslighting me. It was there. I look forward to getting to, uh, what's it called? Till Death Do Us Part. The one mission that has actual differences between PC and console. Huh. Interesting. This has been changed. Not just the layout, but Diana doesn't automatically start talking to you. Do I like that? I might. Oh, oh, this is a good change. You can go back to the main menu from the mission screen. That's a that's a thing that was missing from the original, and it bothers me every time I select the wrong mission. <laughs> huh? What is this? Huh. Okay, I, I'd say this is a this is a step up from the original. Because in the original you could choose the same exact things, but it didn't communicate uh, what those things were. Whereas here it's sidearm concealable heavy, heavy, heavy weapon. Some something about this does scream mobile. I can't quite put my finger on it. I mean, other than the fact that it is a mobile game, there's there's something about this. Maybe the f maybe the font, the text size. Looks like DX ball. <laughs> That's a deep cut. <laughs> I don't see it, but I. That's a reference. <laughs> I see somebody Google DX ball for the first time. Hey, I played that as a kid. I beat that game. <laughs> Just want to run around for a bit and. Hang on. Card suspicious. About what? Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, it's a trespassing zone, but it doesn't give me the trespassing indication like it did in the tutorial. Uh, how do I drop items? Uh, deep pad down. Propiedad privada. Amigo. Lárgate.
and while we have to fight our way out. <laughs> Take a moment to enjoy that. Also, I don't intend to do like a very slow, casual playthrough, nor do I intend to do a speedrun. I'll just dig around, maybe beat the game. Also, minimap indicates HQ here. Interesting. Actually, hang on, I need to check. Uh, minimap is... It's one of the buttons. That button. Oh. Oh. I wanted to see if the minimap shows me, like, room titles. So that's a really good improvement that was added in Nichtman 2. Well, at least I don't have to worry about getting stuck on this ledge when the game is running at 30 FPS. Yeah, there, there was the high... Yeah, look, oh man, this trespassing thing is... Hey. It's kind of all over the place. This is... a bit hard to read. Because they have a set resolution to work with, they could easily... make this a bit more readable, so that the text and the numbers are closer to one another, and maybe spaced out a bit more. And now they're... kind of far apart. This is fine. Also, hey, sound assassin. My strap still works. It was their killer. Now I, I can't tell if this is just Mr. how the original looks, but this looks low resolution. A bald killer clone? He's it could be that legend. it's even the CIA this resolution even in the original. I just can't tell because I never watched these. Also, somebody pointed out that couldn't you buy Intel in this screen, and I, I was meant to respond to that in the previous briefing screen by saying, oh yeah, you can buy it from over here, because I expected to see that button at some point, but I never did. No, no, wait, you do that in-game, in the in in-game briefing screen, that's right. Yes, you, yo, uh, again, I'm just gaslighting myself at this point, just thinking like, are you supposed to get the enhanced detonator in this mission? Because one of my complaints about the original Blood Money is that this mission specifically has a scripted kill opportunity where you kill both the targets by uh, blowing stuff up and having items fall on them. But you can't do it on your first playthrough because you don't have the equipment. But it's not the enhanced detonator that you're missing, it's the uh, uh, second mine that you need. And I think Blood Money would be better off if this mission was later in the game, so you could have those equipments. Alright, I'll try to speedrun this. I guess this playthrough will be like... Speedrun-ish. So, just notice, detected during frisk. It's nice that they actually... explain which items are detected during frisk, because... there was always some ambiguity between the mines and the rangers. Like, are they detected or are they not? Also, the, the picture in picture is definitely worse than it used to be. Or maybe maybe I'm just in the minority, but I, I really like the picture in picture taking up half the screen. I think it's. It gives you more info and I think it's more stylish. What's going on? I don't know. This might not end well. It almost definitely won't end well, in fact. Especially since I'm supposed to draw a mine as a distraction in a second and I don't remember how to draw a mine. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, I landed it. Yeah, the, the aiming reticle, or, or rather the camera angle, has been moved from the original, so it's no longer exactly behind 47, it's to the side of him. And that is absolutely throwing me off. What? <laughs> Alright, that's because I'm playing on expert. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's a blood money thing. <laughs> not not on this port, but uh, the difference between 
the AI on different difficulties is not really that they get smarter, but they, their reaction speed gets higher. <laughs> So on, on professional, they react immediately when something blows up. On expert, they take like two seconds to think about it before they react. Dude. Ah! Oh god, you can't run while crouched. Crouching takes priority. I probably have a body found. I don't. Hey! Silent Assassin! Why are some of these objectives red and some blue? Weird. Because why would they make a remaster for PC? Because the original is still really good. <laughs> I can't. <gasps> There's nothing to remaster here on PC. The only thing you have to do on PC is open the INI file and set the resolution to what you want, and it just works. <laughs> so the HUD doesn't scale all that perfectly, but you can't have everything. You see that albino in here the other day? Yeah, whatever, whatever the reason for the crash is, it's still remarkable that the game accepts to run at such arbitrary resolution. At such a small resolution. And similarly, if you if you want to do like blood money uh, on multiple monitors and do like a 360 degree view, the game will let you. It will just work. You. Unskippable. Sedating me. Because I, I have attempted to play Blood Money on, on a triple monitor setup. They'd send you to clean up my mess. Where each of the monitors is of a different resolution. And it works. The game is just okay with it. You out of here. No, oh, that cancels the music. Yeah. Must say. Instinct pretty darn useless in this. Oh no, I can't. There's no way I can do this right. Hey, you got no business here. How the fuck am I meant to human shield in this game? Yeah, the human shield is. Oh god, that was difficult. What are you doing? It pauses the game. Oh no! This is so much clumsier than it used to be. Oh shit. Uh, I guess I'm doing this. Or at least trying to do this. And you actually have to aim at things which really doesn't feel good. Because you also have to... Hang on. Yeah, 47 also has to be facing the right direction. So it's like... Double, doubly as precise as it used to be. In classic Hitman, you just have to make sure that 47 is facing the right direction. In new Hitman, you have to make sure that the camera is facing the right direction. In this, you have to make sure that both are facing the right direction. Trespassing. Guard suspicious... Why am I trespassing? I'm pretty... I don't know. I don't think the trespassing indicator is very reliable. Also, I haven't checked the briefing screen at any point. Probably because I don't know where it is. Oh, hold down the map button. <laughs> and Intel is here. Oh! Oh! Bottom left corner! What? No! Man, that's such a shame. Not just because it's obviously broken, <laughs> but because this is one of those things that always existed in Blood Money, but 
it, it was so uh, so well hidden. Like you have to go to the briefing menu, which most people probably never do. And in the briefing menu, you have to notice a specific button that you can buy Intel, and then you can get clues, which probably would be really helpful for new people. And I, I honestly think that that's a feature that in a remaster like this should have been brought up more. Like, hey, if you don't know what to do, look here. And if you're new to the game, you probably don't know what to do, so look here. Uh, can I even be bothered to kill the other guys? I suppose I can kill him. No, I can't. I don't have the bomb anymore. I could just leave and get sound assassin. I can't be bothered to deal with them. The fact that that menu is broken just... It tells me so much. Because <laughs> I watched a lot of people play this game. Do casual playthroughs. And I think that specific screen... Oh my god, this camera system. That specific screen is the one that nobody ever goes to. This sort of remaster was a perfect opportunity to make that screen a bit more visible. And it would have been an actual useful improvement for new people. But they <laughs> obviously didn't even find it themselves. Like, if I had to guess, it's like one guy was working on the menus, put the menus together, said like, all right, test these menus and let me know if something's broken. And then nobody ever tested that particular menu, because that's so instantly obvious. Which really doesn't highlight the fact that, yeah, the menu itself is broken in terms of the layout, but the fact that finding that menu is too difficult. Also, these loading screens look particularly red for some reason. Oh, hey, uh, the, the minimap had a nice car icon that wasn't in the original. Excuse me. Guards alerted. It is nice how you can see Vinny following you. Oh no, somebody's missing. I don't think you should be here. What? That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, she was there. That must have been like a 30 FPS throw missing. Because those of you who don't know, uh, the frame rate influences how far you can throw items. Ah, oh, she's not here. Maybe she will show up. I don't think Extremely optimistic of me. I can still add two. Oh, no, it's lad two headshots because I can survive if I lad two headshots. Didn't it just tell me to press plus? Also, the strange thing is that it used to be three headshots. For some reason, that's a change they made. <laughs> Only one headshot. Oh, it could be a difficulty thing. That would make sense. That that icon for objective complete is so ugly. Also, yeah, let's see if this car is in the correct place. I mean, my own icon is quite big, so it's hard to tell. I, I don't think it's quite in the right place, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's a. It should be more this way. What about PS2? I haven't played that. I need to pick up a copy of the PS2 Blood Bunny. Or rather, I, I want to pick up a copy of the Hitman collection for PS2, which has Hitman 2, Contract, and Blood Money. But those are actually kind of rare, and I'm not willing to pay much money for it. <laughs> that's the big thing. <laughs> like 10 euros, that's my final offer. I have no idea what I'm going to do here. This is one of the most important elections of our life. 
that's not the voice I remember. It's not moving. What? Is this a problem with my Switch Pro or is this version scuffed? Who are you gonna trust? Who can you trust? My friends, I know one man you can trust. Frank Morgan. Alright, I did it for you since you are apparently unable to speak. Oh, now it moves. Does it? The, oh, is the game gaslighting me again? Is this a normal feature in Blood Money that it only starts moving later on? Or was I blocking it? That's also a thing. Can I block it? I don't know! I can say that his voice is definitely fucked. And his lines kept cutting off. So something is not right. No, it definitely should be moving. It definitely should be moving. Yo, wh whoever's doing next Blood Money port to whatever platform, call me. I know this game. <laughs> I, I will catch you on your incorrectly pitched voice. <laughs> oh, what if I instinct here? I guess it's not highlighting the target because... Actually, no, it should be highlighting the target, right? There we go. For some reason, she's not on the minimap. Oh my god. I have simplified strangle on and it's making this more difficult. Maybe I should turn off simplified strangle because it is just worse. <laughs> It's at the same time so funny. <laughs> but only if you're standing up. If you're already crouching, it works. But in that case, it's pointless because the whole thing it's, it's supposed to do is make you crouch. <laughs> I guess I'll try something like this. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's way easier. Can I have the walkie-talkie? Oh god, the walkie-talkie is... Like, you gotta... Oh man, why would they do this? Oh, I'm, I wanna pick up the walkie-talkie, but... It's... I can't point at it. Uh, come on, come on. No. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> Take the walkie-talkie, 47. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> yes, got it. Ooh, success. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm actually, yeah, I do know why they changed these things. It, they changed these things because that's how it works in Hitman 2016. And these days people are used to how Hitman 2016 works, so they tried to make Blood Money play like 2016, and it doesn't work. Guard suspicious. That's just a bold-faced lie. The only people who heard that gunshot were these two. And they are not guards. Yeah. That's no good. Like, you can't, you can't trust these new indicators that they have. They're just not correct. Actually, wait. Uh, look, keyhole. Exit keyhole. Yeah, that still works. Get out of here, buddy. Gonna be trouble. Can I please track the body? This is a blood money thing, by the way. Not just this port. There we go. That it sometimes takes forever to drag a body. Darn. 
feeling that might happen. Well, at this point I have no idea where the delivery guy went. I guess we'll miss out on the bonus. But hey! Silent Assassin! No, not a mod. It's an official port. For the Switch. Yeah, bottom text.txt. Yeah, I know nobody wishes the bottom text, but I have room in my layout for it. And honestly, I don't mind that people ask questions like that, because it's a message in the chat that I can respond to. I have somebody to talk to. I can pretend I have friends. I know chaos. I said I can pretend I have friends. <laughs> don't take it away from me. Oh, he actually... Oh. I'm, I'm pretending so hard. <laughs> Doing my best here. I'm surprised that he reacted to the coin. I, I thought on expert they wouldn't. Uh, how do I zoom? How do I use the scope? Wait, do I have a... I don't even have a scope. That would explain it. Yeah, uh... <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a scope at some point. Good evening, sir. Much like I buy all my friends. Where am I going? I don't have a plan. <laughs> it says trespassing because the one of the things they added was indications for trespassing zones. But because those weren't in the original, and they were never designed to be a part of the original, the addition now, like 15, 20 years later, is not optimal. <laughs> okay, we can check if this glitch is still in the game. I assume it is, because why would they fix this? This is fantastic. Yeah, it's still in the game. So if you shoot a mine, you don't take damage from it yourself. <laughs> Very good. I like it. Okay. You know, the game pausing when you do selections like this, it's not always bad. Because this is an elevator where I always have to take like 0.1 second to think which floor I'm going. <laughs> Uh, are you okay? Seriously, are you okay, man? Would you like to tell me to get lost or something? Guess not. Nice that the minimap tells me where my target is at the moment. No, he saw the gun. Oh, he didn't actually do anything about the gun. Hi. Well, this is not good. The target is showing up. Oh, well, he's panicking. That's actually fine, then. Sorry, do go. No business here. Unscapable. Damn it. Still silent assassin. <laughs> uh, stealing a tape is not a witnessable crime. They do go hostile though. And what happened there was that the guy who told me to get lost happened to be looking the opposite way as I was grabbing the tape. It was like probably a half a second window. So I, th I think I just figured out why this newspaper looks different from the from before. I, th I think in the original version there was like some sort of grain filter on top of the newspaper and they've gotten rid of that. 
so it looks more crisp and clean. And that's a change I honestly don't mind at all. I think it always looked a bit out of place. And I'm guessing this has something to do with uh, mobile design that requires, like somebody said, higher contrast and uh, such. Why put blood money to mobile of all things? Because, because mobile things run it these days, and you can. No idea what it costs there. Actually, can I? Is it on like the Google Store thing? Never bought, bought anything from there, and I don't intend to start now, but it costs 15 euros. I don't know if that's good or bad for mobile. What about the other Hitman mobile games? Hitman Sniper. Oh, I can't see what it costs because I already have it. <laughs> so that's a bad game. <laughs> Would not recommend. And I think... Is Hitman Go even a thing anymore? Or, or did they just kill it completely? Okay, Hitman Go is 7 euros. Wasn't there a second Sniper game? I think there was a second Sniper game, but never played that. And unless I get that for free, I won't play it either. It's... The only reason why I had any interest in the in the Hitman Sniper 2 thing is because Hitman and I'm a sucker. Let's be real, I'm a complete sucker for anything Hitman. I mean, you can tell I'm a sucker because I'm playing this. Although clearly I am not I am not sucker enough now that I think about it because I still haven't seen the second Hitman movie. <sighs> I should maybe watch it. Oh, how do I scope? Remains as the key question. There. Uh, I can't see. I have a visual cue for, cue for shooting through the wall, but I, <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Interesting that it actually has push over rail as a thing. That's generally a good thing, because sometimes it's not clear if you're going to push somebody over the rail when you press the button. But this this version actually tells you if it's a push over rail situation or just push situation. Also, regarding the movies, the original Hitman movie is great. It's fucking hilarious. Like, it's got one of the best lines in any movie ever, which is like... Which I can't even remember, it's so good. But it's four, four clones of Agent 47, one of whom is black, are, are having a standoff in a train cart. And one of them says something like, How about dying with a little dignity? And then they all pull out swords. <laughs> it's amazing. Hey, buddy! This area is restricted. Oh. Like for some reason, people shit on that movie, but it's fucking great. It's very convenient that I can I can see the. Uh... Jesus. That might be a body found. This might be in the end of my Silent Assassin streak. Oh, I picked up a shotgun on the way down? That's kinda cool. And I still get Silent Assassin. <laughs> Yeah, and also, yeah, I know, in, in the first Hitman movie, they were not actually clones, they were orphans or something, but I still find it funny that when the source material says that they are clones, they have a situation like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I want to watch those Hitman movies. I, I really want to watch the original, and I really want to, for the first time, watch the second one, but I... I feel like I can't just watch them like any other movie. There's something special about them. 
I, I need to make it a moment somehow. If I could stream them, I would. But I have a feeling some people might not like that. Yeah, just do it on kick. <laughs> they don't care. Yeah. The next Hitman anthology is just gonna be the movie watching party. I like it. I like this idea. Nice. Real nice. Oh, he actually reacts to the coin. I really didn't expect that to be a thing on this difficulty. Yep, you can see. Kitchen knife right here. This is not on the PC version. That's the biggest difference between console and PC, aside from controls and technical stuff. I can't blame Nintendo for that. That's uh that's there on the PS2. So we gotta use it, of course. How often am I, am I gonna get a chance to use this console exclusive kitchen knife? Alright, the uh, second target is still alive, so I gotta keep mashing the exit button here. <laughs> And they won't find Pappy because nobody ever goes into that area. I haven't read the Hitman novels, that's probably where I will draw the line. <laughs> I have heard that at least one of the novels is extremely horny. But I don't know if there's any truth to that. <laughs> but I don't think I'm about to find out. <laughs> My collection of Hitman stuff is... Pretty decent, I'd say, but I'm not interested in picking those up. I, I am, I'm very glad I have shit like, shit like this shirt. Got a nice Hitman logo on my shirt right now, and uh, an authentic, uh, the class, vinyl. That's probably the best thing I have. I got a, I got an egg cup. I, sh I can't make that up. I, I have a Hitman. Official Hitman egg cup. <laughs> like I get some of some of that cool stuff, but I don't think the novel is one of the things I'm interested in getting. And they haven't shown anything about the 007 game. I'm still not sure what I should do about the 007 game if and when it comes out. Yes, yeah, so I have talked about this before, and I am, I am extremely opposed to always online in games. And I am not really a fan of 007. So it's a case of, would it be better if I don't pick it up? Because, well, I don't care for 007, and I don't want to support Always Online. Or is it better if I pick it up because it's IO Interactive, and be vocal about it being Always Online? Like, is it is it worse to be part of the problem and preach about it, or not be a problem and shut up about it. Which one do I choose? But I'll, this is all, of course, hypothetical, because we don't even know if it's going to be always online. We're in contact with the IOI community manager for 007. Uh, that's always the thing. I, I never know in what terms I am with IO. <laughs> I would like to be in good terms, but I'm also very critical of them, so I, I can't be sure if they like me or hate me. <laughs> Like, I was very critical of Hitman 2016 even back then. I liked it a lot, and I was also very positive on it, and I was playing it a lot. But I was also calling things out as I saw them. And one thing that I was told specifically was that don't stop being critical. And I haven't stopped being critical. <laughs> but still, every now and then, then I wonder, like, have I crossed some line? Because there have been more than one instance where IO has emailed me, I have emailed them back, and they haven't responded. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> Are we having a conversation or not? <laughs> uh, hey, how about we do this mission? We can talk during it because it's... 
<laughs> it's House of Cards. Uh, drop a mine like here, right? The name is Krops. Let's see. That voice sounded weird. There it is. Here's your key card. Our new key card. Okay, just sounds a bit echoey, I think. Do it. Oh. Uh, I'm trying. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, somebody saw that. <laughs> yeah, I, I pressed the wrong button. Wait, they have us. X is the button you use to switch disguise, but if you go to this menu, it still shows you disguise as a pickup. Oh God. The controls are so scuffed. Oh, gotta look up to climb? Oh, that's bad. Oh, I don't even want to climb. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Wait, can, I, can you not hold the coin? Oh, that's how... Right. I was holding it wrong. Did he live? Oh no. Oh, he died. Okay. That's not him, is it? It's too early for him. It's so weird not having a timer up, so I don't know <laughs> what's going on. It's the next car. Yeah. Oh, hang on. What's the timing on this? I can't remember. I have no idea if that worked. It definitely did not work. Let's give it a second go. I'll try to detonate the first mine a lot sooner. Actually, I can't detonate a lot sooner because they step out of the car at that time. Wow, they react slow as shit. That's a body found. I want to get this to work. Detonation on top of the stairs, second between plants. Okay, okay. Except this is on expert, so it probably doesn't work quite as well. <laughs> that might be it. Ah, uh, he's still outside. I'll finish and see if I get Sound Assassin. I would like to get Sound Assassin. Simply because I've gotten Sound Assassin every time so far. Hey, Sound Assassin! I'll take it. <laughs> Just hope turned out to be the winning strat. No one check to see if targets are shootable before they are... Uh, what do you mean? I mean, you, you can see the exact moment they arrive. Because their shadow is pointing under the car. Because they just, they don't exist before that moment. And that's why this strat typically works, is that you, you just detonate the mine as soon as they spawn. So they are still in the car, but they have spawned, which is a small window of time. And as they die before they get out of the car, they clip under the car and their body cannot be found. But people have definitely checked. If you could maybe shoot these guys before they show up. People have, people have looked. <laughs> And you can't. <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot to bring guns. Uh, mission briefing? No. Restart? No, that's just restarts. Any mission saves will be lost. Oh, I'm glad it tells you that. Can you actually not go back to the main menu? Or to the mission briefing? Change your equipment? No? Okay, I... I, I guess we won't bring an SMG then. Wait! They took away the empty option from this menu. There used to be just an empty slot in case you don't want to have anything equipped, but I guess you just press cancel. Ah. No trespassing, fella. Get out of here. 
I'm pressing X. Thank you. I am 100% sure they didn't fix Alan, please, at details. Because why would they? It's a feature at this point. Also, I just noticed something, which I hadn't noticed before. You can actually see behind the, the map. You can't turn the camera, but you can see. That's nice. Yes, per kid. Yes, 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 per kid. I'm always a bit conflicted about pronunciations like that. Most notable example being uh, Chongqing in Hitman 3, which the game mispronounces. And I, and I feel like in that case, I... I am... Um, I am... Um, I am correcting the game whenever I speak of Chongqing. I personally pronounce it Chongqing because I happened to look it up at some point and learned that, hey, the game does it wrong and it should be Chongqing. But I definitely had that internal conflict of should I, should I still say Chongqing because that's what the game says? Oh, minimap is nice here. I can see if Eve is running this way. There she goes. It's nice. And I was able to climb hatch without looking at the hatch, so that's good. Hey, Goose. The port is... ...functional. Oh no, she's just heading over there. Oh, Eve. Oh, sorry, Vana. Also, thank you for talking to me. Yeah, it could have been worse. I I feel like I would rather play this than the PS3 version, but not by a wide margin. So, regarding instinct. Had like no use for it at all because why? It doesn't even highlight civilians. Guards suspicious, except guards are not suspicious, and that prompt is just flat out wrong. It's so good. <laughs> ah, whatever. Vana is gonna die soon. Is there anything that I wish this port has that I wish was in the original game? There's been a couple of small things. Which I wish I could point out right now. <laughs> but some minor aspects have been improvements. And I would say that I honestly don't mind the minimap at all. The minimap is nice in some situations, especially in a speedrun context. But I've, I've been talking about the good and good and the bad of this part for the last four hours. <laughs> hey, there goes Eve. I'm gonna save before I exit because I don't trust this. <laughs> and I have saves. Try speedrunning this game, some of also speedrunnable. Wait, huh? I mean, I mean, following... Oh, okay. You've been following since last summer. Welcome. <laughs> I, I take it you haven't been here for too long. <laughs> I, I may be familiar with speedruns of this game. <laughs> but if you, if you found me through not Hitman speedruns, welcome. I'm glad to see you here. <laughs> Yep, I know. The vast majority of people are here for Hitman. But hey, I'm I'm trying to steer away from Hitman and from speedruns, so I I just can't human shield. <laughs> it's too difficult. 
stealth game enjoyers. Honestly, even even that's been uh, going down because I've been running out of stealth games. <laughs> now it's just whatever I feel like. Interesting games. Also, I, I think they've changed the door mechanics because this door doesn't close automatically as quickly as it should. No one has to get hurt here. Also, hey, the minimap tells me when the civilians are out of the way. Oh, right. Cameras. Nope. Mission impossible. I mean, that, that's the thing. I... I, I feel like I've seen the, the basic bad stealth again, and I would I, I'm more interested in like interesting takes on stealth if if there are more stealth games that I actually haven't played that I should be playing. Wait, you saw me go in? Darn! You found a boxed copy of Arabian Nights for less than a dollar. I hope you picked that up. I would have. <laughs> Cause that's a find. Where am I going? Sure, I'm going this way now. I don't have an SMG, right. Like, if, if my options are play this shitty stealth game or play this good game from a genre you don't really know that well, I'll take the, I'll take the good game. And see what I can get out of that. We're practically brothers. Yeah, I can't shoot him because I don't have an SMG. I can do and I want to get some other assassin. Would you like to keep moving? Hello? Mr. Barchesi? Thank you. <laughs> Again, that happens in the original as well. But maybe that's a frame rate thing. Because I've seen it happen l quite rarely in recent days. Recent years, even. My suit back. Right. You gotta point at it. Ooh. Silent Assassin. This is honestly extremely surprising. I I got Silent Assassin on every mission first try. Or technically not first try, but first time I first try I actually went all the way to the end. Ah uh, hey, I won't be doing true silent assassin on the next one though. <laughs> Can I even do it? How the fuck do I even do it on a controller? I, I can't do this. This mission is hard. I can't aim. <laughs> Let's hope the auto aim aims for the head. Oh, it shows you the pulse at... Oh, that's a bit of a spoiler. Hang on. It's two headshots. <laughs> well, if I could get those two headshots. Also, this has already not gone right because I should be killing, uh, killing that dude. But hey, at least I got these two. At least the minimap tells me if the other guys are approaching. Is there a first person mode in this?
This is the only mission where I would like to have it. I guess there isn't first person in this. The scope button is... Uh, is this. <laughs> That's the second guard right there. Got him? I don't want to get any closer because I have no health. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and I would love to watch the credits, but I know this gets DMCA'd. <laughs> the credits might actually be different. <laughs> At least the font is different. Mute! Let's listen to this instead. Huh! Communications Manager Travis Barbour. That is... A special thanks, Clemens Call. Interesting, this is... Yeah, okay, there's the Legacy team. I was like, what the hell? Those, those were uh, not current, but recent IO people, rather than um, Blood Money people. Would I write the experience for a new player? Uh, I would recommend the PC version. And it's a shame, because I, I feel like there are, there is room in Blood Money for improvements, especially for new players. And this didn't really do any of that. Particularly, I, I think the, the hint screen, or buy intel screen. I, I think that's a thing that should be highlighted more. But I think in this one it's buried even deeper than it used to be. But I mean... For about 98% of the game, it's the same. The UI looks a bit different than there's a minimap. Vivian Mc... Wait, is Vivian McKee in this? She was credited, but is she in this one? I, th I thought she was, like, the new voice of Diana. J oh, GV... That's right, I got them the wrong way around. Jane Perry is the new one, Vivian McKee is the original. That's right. Wait, what? I, I, am, I am just looking up a Blood Money on IMDB and I'm learning new things. Alvaro Jalvade, the, the singer in Curtains Down, is voiced by Hurley from Lost. <laughs> Which, what? <laughs> like, oh, hang on. <laughs> Does not compute. I, sure, okay. I, I guess we'll t <laughs> accept that as the truth. <laughs> yeah, that, that was Blood Money Reprisal. I'm gonna do a recap on that. Because why the fuck not? Finished on... Expert and... Silent Assassin, I can say that. Four hours. Although that's not exactly accurate, I think I spent like at least an hour talking shit. Felt sneaky, yeah. Uh, that, I mean, that basically sums it up. Blood Money is still great, but this is not a great port. I, I will say that the minimap in general is an improvement. Shit, what is it called? The Murder Kraus has the... I'm drawing a blank on the word. What is it called? The thing that wasn't moving. The float... Not, not the float, but the whole... whole thing with the multiple cards. Parade! That, that, that will do. Uh, anything else I should add? Probably not. I mean, honestly... This is basically the same thing. Same thing, different package. Like, if you want to play Blood Money, but you think the PC version is too good, but the HD remaster is not good enough, then you want to play the Switch version. I'm not gonna give it a rating, because what's the point? The game is a 9, the port is a 4 or a 5. <sighs> hey, yes. I mean, yeah, I enjoy Blood Money. I, I, I've been known to enjoy Blood Money. <laughs> you know what? I think it's, uh, it's getting close to the time that I should maybe finish up this stream. But thank you for stopping by and thank you for sticking around and chatting and wasting time. 
episode. Thank you for watching. Have a good night and see you later. Bye.